All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. Time to take on the big Bowser's castle by multi-person, obviously, since this wasn't all made by one person, but we'll see who made each room individually, so info. My B button's kind of sticking, so I'm hoping that doesn't mess me up too much. Each half of the castle requires you to beat three rooms in a row, however, they may be hidden shortcuts. Bowser holds the map of this place. You'll obtain it once you beat him. Afterwards, you may re-enter the castle and explore it to your liking. Dang it, couldn't there just be a tourist booth offering map free maps? That would be very helpful, I think. Alright, so looks like we need to lure the swamp. And so we've got choice between blue leaf. Huh. This brick almost looked like it was going to be something I could go through. And low Yoshi and lazy. Well, I'm here, so may as well. So we've got Mushroom. I'm feeling like I need to come back or something like that, because there's swamps at the bottom. It almost feels like I'm going to come back with a Yoshi or something. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what would be at the start for me to do with the Yoshi? Oh, well that sucks. I was just holding straight left, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, so in order to get to that block, I need to spin jump over to it. Well, okay, let's just go this way first. Plop, you're dead. Lower the thwomp down, and then I just drop off and go right. Yep, there we go. Oh, shoot. Can I even get out of here now? Nope. Well, I can get out of here with the rosary. Not a very good use of it, I suppose, but... Plop. Plop. Well, I don't need to kill off you. I'm not sure why I'm bothering. Kill you. Alright, so I need to bounce off of this. And then bounce off of you. Kill you real quick. There we go. Alright, I probably just want to drop as fast as possible. There we go. Like this lined itself up. There we go. Now I just need to time this. Let's hold myself a B button. You're dead. Okay. Okay, so to go right, that looks like a Yoshi jump place, but for now I'm going to be going up and checking out this room made by nobody, apparently, because it's just a hub. Well, it's annoying that I can't stand on the, in front of the door, but it's made by Lazy. And then this one is made by Storant Pyro. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, I'm like flying. Looks like whenever a sprite touches those blocks, I go up into the ceiling. Okay, need to go past the spiny. And then we just go through the pipe. Oh, okay. Did not react very well to that. Alright, so we just float here until we get off screen. Uh, whoops. Dang it. I, I missed the cloud by a, like, just a bit. Okay. So, at least this gives me a chance to check out some of the other rooms. Let's try Blue Leaf. Has Blue Leaf even... I, I mean, he must have made something else. He or she. Whoops. That was a good use of my rosary. Just duck here, I suppose. Go up the center, spin jump on that guy. Ah, shoot. I did not read those correctly. If I spin jump, I can get through the obstacle a little bit faster, which helps. Dang it, I just nicked my foot against him. I mean, the other room certainly went a lot better, so let's go to the other room first. So let's see. I'm imagining this Yoshi will be one of the shortcuts that the info box talked about, so I probably want to do that. Okay, we just want to go over this guy. Forget killing him. Okay, that's not too hard. 
but this makes this part a little bit harder. That is not timed well. This time we hold the button a little bit less, and that works. Let's just wait for these guys to get out of my way, and then we just go and stand here. That wasn't too hard. We can eat these guys now. Nom nom nom. Or we can just jump past. Might as well do that. No need to eat any of them, really. Alright. I'll eat you, though, so that I actually have the time to think here. Okay, it's the same as before, but I lost my Yoshi, which sucks. Uh, I guess I won't get to experience the shortcut. There was another room, though, that I didn't test out, so that's not entirely a bad thing. Bop. We can just go. Let's see what this other room is. Oops, no. There's only one room. It's a to the left. Let's see what Lazy has in store for us. This is my Zen Garden. Make sure that absolutely nothing touches my carefully raked gravel. Punishment is instant death. Bowser. Well, if he can deal out instant death that easily, why not just, uh... Oh, no, no, that was dumb. <laughs> I didn't really think that through. I should have spun jump instead. This, this room seems like it'll be really gimmicky to get through, so I don't think that's going to be my first choice. That other one by Pyro looked not too hard at all, so... Alright, so I'm thinking this is going to be my path through the level. Dang it. That was stupid. that guy this time. Oh, we just used the spike to get up now. And we have to eat these guys to get through, not that it matters since we just bonk on the ceiling. This obstacle is actually much easier. Oh shoot. I needed that guy to get through, didn't I? Well, we can see if this is doable. Nope. Well, might as well cut my losses and run. If I had jumped off Yoshi a bit sooner, I probably would have actually got him to the ledge and also made it, but that wasn't good enough. Okay, I guess I'm just supposed to go under and then across in one fell swoop. Just glide across the top there, that's fine. Okay, just go fast here, that's fine. Oh, that works, apparently. And then the bomb just blows up and lets me through. Nice. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, that strategy doesn't work very well. I'm not sure if just holding right would have worked better, but... Okay, looks like I need to throw the key into there. Oh, that just barely was enough. Uh-oh. Gotta land between these. I guess just go, and then I need to jump when he, there. Gives me just enough height, and we're in the door. Cool, that's room number two. Looks like I can't get through, so maybe if I took the secret path, I would have a chance to go to either side. That would be a bit nicer. Okay, so these are the weird piranha, I mean, lava low tie. But because I waited, that's not too bad. Jabri's Sunset and Blue Leaf. Let's just try this one. These guys have made a lot of rompy levels so far, so I'm hoping that this room will be relatively easy. I mean, that doesn't mean they won't make a hard level for Bowser's Castle, but congrats, you've received the admin's prized ban hammer. Press X or Y to send all of those toxic attitudes out of here. Okay, this is definitely gonna be one that I have to get used to. So, okay, it just pounds the ground, and then these two guys start moving. Sucks that I don't have a power-up yet. Still the rosary, at least. Oh, we just gotta get rid of this one. It's not gonna become an obstacle, so... Let me just jump through there. 
Alright, I gotta pound the ground to knock that guy away, and then go. Okay. This, that, yeah, as long as I line them up, that works pretty nicely. Whoa! Okay, that was close. So I want to pound this, let those guys go when the saw is high, and then the other guy's out of my way. So far this hasn't been too bad. This is room number three, so I'm really hoping I make it through. Okay, I probably want to go low. I can scroll here. I get no information, but at least I know there was no information that I needed. Whoa, that was really close. I'm not sure whether I was supposed to go under or over that saw, or maybe I misaligned it. Not really sure. So these guys will come back to me. I don't know what the point of messing with that mushroom is. Oh, I think I probably have to just spin jump through that cloud. Okay, that was fine. I me. Okay, so this was just so that it had an exit point. Then we just spin jump off a saw. Jump. Oh shoot. Well, good thing I had uh, my rosary. Was I just supposed to hit the ground like twice in a row or something like that? Or was I... I guess I was supposed to hit... Okay, I can move while I'm using the hammer, so I was supposed to probably just knock them over my head. Usually these jump signs are near the end of something, so I'm really hoping it'll just end after this. Oh, this is... this is kind of scary. Oh, I have to hit it again. There we go. But now I have to dodge all three. Okay, that went fine. Please just end. I want a midpoint. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have... I, oh, I guess I should look. It's a similar deal to before. I think they'll both come back at me. There we go. And then... Oh, I get a P-switch. For a second I was thinking, what, do I shell jump here? So, what do I do with the P-switch? Okay, it does that. Let's just go, and okay, it's just a door. Please be a... well, it's gotta be a midpoint. It said each section has three, so we're good. I have no more ban hammer, unfortunately. I can't use the ban hammer to ban Bowser, which would have been cool. Whoa. This blarg is like a crazy blarg, it's just coming up over and over again. Uh, dodge that. I guess I need to jump over this guy a few times since he's Mr. Crazy Blarg. Well, I guess I'm going in this room because I'm not going to attempt that jump. It's certainly possible, but <laughs> with lava down there it's not very much fun. So Lol Yoshi, let's see what you have to offer. Uh, you've got shell ones, alright. Drop that in your face. Um, not sure what I'm hoping for there. <laughs> that was stupid. Let's just reset this guy and go as fast as possible. Plop, you're dead. Um, spin jump everything. <laughs> Apparently that's my strat this time. <laughs> not sure why I'm saying this time. Oh, I, I guess I have the screen scrolled by that. He doesn't actually throw any shells at me. Okay, that was very close. I did not time that super well. Oh, darn it, I was trying to grab the shell and smack it into his face, but that didn't really work. Let's grab the shell anyway. I think I want to hit that block. Um, throw it at you? Good. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves Fire Flower. In this room especially, that's very good. Okay, let's, let's get rid of you for a second, so that I have time to- whoa! Oh, cool. One shot got the shell, and one shot got him. Land on this block. Plop. You're dead. Okay. You go around all the way. You're not one of those sneaky ones that goes back and forth. Uh, okay. I'm out of the way now. Well, we can just throw fireballs down there and kill it, so who cares? Um, okay. That works. just fry everything. Yeah, these fireballs are coming clutch for sure. And <laughs> two, another two-for-one deal. 
Okay, bye Pyro. Her last one wasn't too bad, so I'm hoping this one won't be too bad either. Um, it's starting to look like we're like halfway through a room or something. I can't scroll, so I can't look at it. But I don't know, maybe if I took a different door, I would end up somewhere else in this room. I would need to look at the map. Let's hold the button. I find these very difficult a lot of the time. Y yeah, I'm not really a rhythm person. <laughs> I don't do a lot of music or anything like that, which I think would help a lot. Well, I can try out the other door, I suppose. I'm hoping I don't need to go through that room. But I wouldn't be surprised if I did have to. Unless there's another one of those fabled, dang it, shortcuts. Well, let's try. Well, it actually worked, so that's pretty cool. I wonder if that's a shortcut. If I get P-Speed and... Okay, I need a higher jump, but that looks doable. I feel like there's gotta be something over there, right? And I probably want to know what it is. <laughs> low jump this time. Do a full jump, and yeah, there's another door. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. And it brings me to a room by Marcel Morceau. Uh, he hasn't made anything else I've seen in this hack so far. I I'm thinking I didn't want to know what this is now. <laughs> He's kind of legendary for making a lot of the really hard levels in the first jump. So far this hasn't been too bad, but that was bad, but not terrible, so. The thing is, if I do beat this room, shoot, if I do beat this room, it's probably going to allow me to skip a room. So I probably want to do it regardless. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's a cave. But it would have been really nice if I managed to get to it without having to sacrifice my rosary for it. Thankfully we can whack away fireballs. Okay, just go left and right. Good enough. Oh boy, this is certainly gonna be a thing. Okay, there's two- three platforms come and then there's a slightly bigger gap, so take advantage of that. Okay. So that fireball is in a not very good place. Thankfully, the cape makes that a lot easier. I'm just gonna assume none of these pipes are enterable, because why would they be? Oh, is that the end? Okay, yeah, it may have been made by Marcel Marceau, but he wasn't going evil mode. So let's see, Sora and Pyro. Alright, so that doesn't really allow me to skip anything. I still have to go through this room. Only difference is I have a cape, which is actually probably a bad thing, if I'm being honest here. Unless I can go back. Oh, maybe this is the trick. Haha, <laughs> okay. So now I can go to this room by Lol Yoshi instead. Um, what? Okay, what is this gimmick? Um, what's in that block, too? Looks like they're just conveyor belts. This doesn't seem like an easy room, either. Constant threat of danger. At least there seems to be constant bonus of power-ups to go with that constant threat. There is a lot of things- there are a lot of things to keep track of here. Dang it, I did not jump high enough to get that. That sucks a lot. That cape would have made a huge difference. Yeah, just barely slid under that guy. Ah, run! Please. Um... I'm really hoping... Okay, now they're in a different pattern, crud. If only I still had my rosary left. Okay, this room is also really nasty. So sure, I can do it. The question is, do I want to? Marcel Marceau's room was actually really not that bad. Let's see what the third room is. Iso and Jibri's Sunset. 
Let's see what they've got for me. Mystery pots. Um. Okay, I, I broke it. Okay, looks like I have a key. What's the big deal here? I break some pots and then uh, I get a key? Okay, I was I was thinking there must be something else to it, which is why I was staying away from the pots. Okay, that's no big deal, I suppose. Uh, it throws a couple dry bones at me sometimes. There's a pea switch. I can't get the mushroom, but I'm not going to continue breaking those. Okay, we've got a thwomp in this one. Whoops, I did not mean to break that in my face. Okay, so I have myself a key now. Good enough. And what is that? Oh. Well, he disappears when I come close to him. So let's let's get rid of him and just start throwing pots down there. I'm not sure why I biffed that one. I didn't mean to grab the thing there either. Oh, that was close. And I don't get to choose what room I reach. However, that room was really short. This might br I think this brings me back to the one I was just playing. No, it's completely different. I'm assuming I can't there's an invisible block there. Like, it's not just gonna... Yeah, okay. I can't jump at all. Oh, I can't jump at all while I'm on those blocks. Okay. I mean, there might still be a way to get the moon, I don't know, but I don't really care. Okay, I think I need to just work up P-Speed and then jump early. I probably just want to stay on the saw and ignore the gimmick. Oh, I can't really do that so well because of the swamp. I mean, it makes sense. He probably place that there deliberately. So far, this room hasn't been too nasty so far, but it all depends on how long it is and how many power-ups it gives me. I'm not sure why I spun jump. That actually could have shot me in the foot, and it was probably more likely to shoot me in the foot than a regular jump. Okay, we want to stand on this block. Whoa, okay. Let's let that go again. I'm wondering if maybe that other room with the arrows by Lol Yoshi, it would only force me to go through two rooms. Ah, shoot. I didn't react correctly to that. I assumed I would just want to run off, but that wasn't right. I probably want to thread between the spikes. Or trigger them and go back. So yeah, I'm starting to think that, like, if I do anything else, I'll have to go through three rooms, where if I, is if I do the arrow room with Lol Yoshi, even though it's hard, It'll just be over after that. So, there don't seem to be any other really obvious candidates. So I think that's the one I should go for. Because this room is easy, and then I just have to go through one hard room. I mean, easy is debatable, but it's, it's considering a lot of these rooms are really nasty. Let's just go through here with high frames. Dang it, I got trapped on it again. The hit I took here last time was really dumb, so let's try not to do that again. Oh shoot, I thought he would only fire once for some reason. I thought the green pipe signal did only fire once, but I don't know where I got that info from. I just kind of made that up and it wasn't really true. <laughs> Alright, hit the needle, this isn't too bad. Just be careful not to go too low. And I have to keep my cake too. Because if I don't, it kind of defeats the purpose. But really I just have to do the same thing I would have had to do otherwise, which is I play through Pyro's room. Oh, that didn't really work. Yeah, this isn't timed very well. I'm just gonna sit here for a cycle. And now let's go. That's not really a tight fly, but... Alright, so ignore the fire flower because seriously, who cares? Dang it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. 
We want to keep this cape as long as possible, which might not be much longer. I think I can just jump this. Yes. As long as I have the cape, I can just jump straight past that. Dang it, that was unfortunate. That's the important part that I need the cape for, I suppose, but I would like to keep it longer, obviously, if possible. Whoops. No, I can't. I have to duck. That was close. Okay, now they go all weird. As long as I don't move forward too fast, or go forward really fast, I'm fine. Oh, please end soon. I can't deal with much longer of this. Okay. Please! There we go. Nope, get in the door. Okay, I'm hoping... Yes, it's just a midpoint. Whew, that was... That was definitely intimidating. What is this? Oh, it's some sort of cape shell super cannon. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. And I can also jump crazy high. It's also like a propeller hat. Press L, X or Y or L and R to fire a missile. It will home in on targets that are straight ahead. Doesn't it, doesn't that defeat the purpose of homing? Isn't homing like it's supposed to aim towards the target? Hold B to jump longer. Press tap the select button twice to reset the battle in the next room whenever you want. Hmm, so is it going to be like somewhat puzzle based? Also, my B button sticking is going to give me problems. Next room by created by World Peace. Obviously, I'm just going to throw that out there. Obviously, it was created by World Peace. Okay, I can't just get an easy shot. Oh, th this is like Mega Man Bowser. Oh, well, okay. So we're using his gimmick from the other level. Ugh, wow. I still haven't figured anything out, so this is kind of just chaos at this point still. We've also got some, I think, Toho music. No, that's not right. Got him. Whoops, he got me too. Okay, this is definitely going to require some good gameplay. Oh! Okay, so I can fire at a disco if I hold the button. Can I? Why did I fire at the disco the one time? Is that just something that happens sometimes? Or do I have to press a different button? Or maybe it just happens after a certain amount of time? Either way, I've lost like half my HP, so I wouldn't normally keep on going, but I pretty much just need to practice this guy anyway. So when he... that's a good time to attack, is when he does that. And I probably want him to throw those in the same place if I can help it, but I probably can't help it most of the time. Okay, when he comes out at the start, we can hit him right away. Gotcha. We definitely want him to do the ground pound attack. Oh, he, one of them died for some reason? Oops. That's definitely the best attack he can do. My B button is really sticking, which is not a good thing in this fight. Whoa, what is happening now? It looks like he's in... No, he was only temporary, fully invincible. Oh, okay, so they do home a little bit. I need to read those signs again. Thank goodness for the rosary. It only revives me with one hit, though. I got him half dead, but that doesn't say much considering he changed his phase, so he could get a lot harder. Being forced to jump by- oh, I can land between them. Okay, that's what I should do next time. Help. I'm going into this phase with, like, hang on. Okay. I swear I had more damage on him before he went into this phase the first time. No, it was half eight. It, he was at half when I died, not-
Okay, that didn't work. I have to go over him. Dang it. Now I have to go under him. He doesn't give a- Whoa! Meteors! Also a lot of fire. Good thing I jumped as the instinctive response. Okay, well I've gotten him down to a third, which is certainly better than I did before. This pattern seems familiar from something, but I don't know what. <laughs> Dang it. That fireball was in kind of the wrong place. Especially with my B button not working very well. Can I use the A button instead? Yes, I can. Okay, I should probably start using the A button instead. Dang it, I did not go over him like I was supposed to. At least I can hit him very quickly during the second phase, which is good. And he's out of here. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Okay, that meteor doesn't do anything. That's good, because I don't know how to dodge it either. Dang it. I'm learning his second phase a little bit better. I need to get better at shooting him during the phase where I can shoot him. Honestly, I can jump over him like that and then shoot him. Only helps so much, though. Okay, we made it to third phase. I think I'm getting a consistent strategy down for that. Part. Whoops. Dang it. Oh, I thought I had eye more iframes than that for some reason. Okay, I can duck under that. It's a consistent pattern every time. So that's all I need to do is just duck under that. Ah, forget that. Let's just restart. Hmm, I think I should start... I should go back and forth when I'm at a distance that's farther away from him. Ah, I missed the free shot again. Gotcha. Dang it. That one got me last time, too. Ah, crap. It's hard to notice the actual shooters themselves in all the chaos. Nice to see the old uh, OG vanilla Bowser tech getting some love. <laughs> that was dumb. Okay, those ones just went down and then up again. Uh, that thing always scares me. Nice. This is the best I've done so far. Will it be enough, though? That's the question. Uh, I can't shoot on the ground. I have to remember that. That was very close. Duck under. I missed my chance to shoot him there, but at least I took it in a second or two. Ugh, don't want to take... don't want to give him free hits. Well, that was close. He's got two HP left. I can do this. Got him! I still had half my health bar left, as is actually pretty typical for bosses like this, I find. 
like there's just this moment where it clicks and instead of uh dying completely you have over half your hp or like sometimes even 75 percent of your hp left oh man definitely an exciting way to finish off this game man that that was a fun fight and a fun castle too lots of great rooms but it's not done yet because i still have to go back through for the cleanup now the thing for cleanup i find is that like the idea is i just want to experience all the content i don't necessarily feel the need to go through it legit you know so I will actually use save states before each room. I'll do I won't use save states within any of the rooms, but I I will use save states before them just to make it a little bit more fun to retry them over and over again. I also get the map which will give me good information. I don't know what format the map is going to be in like I, I I don't know how explicit it's going to be. A big thanks to everyone in this credit section for making the levels. Been a lot of good times to be had in this hack, and uh, it's been lots of fun overall. And what a way to end it. <laughs> I, well, I say end in quotation marks, because there's still some stuff left to do in here. It's not really over until it's over. I'm not sure if this counts as an exit. I, f I kind of feel like I've said everything there is to say at this point. I don't know what else I'm going to talk about over the credits, unless I'm going to be, like, name-dropping people or something. <laughs> but, uh... And I hear the garage door opening downstairs. I hope that's not audible. Not that this is really an important time anyways, but... Of course, I, so many people put their time into making this hack that the least I can do is watch through all the credits without, like, just fast-forwarding through it all. Yoshi Cookie Zeus? What was he in here for? Did he make a level, like, that I played a while ago? I can't remember now. <laughs> Special thanks to Viver. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> this is just gonna be vanilla credits. I'd almost be surprised if there wasn't a surprise <laughs> of some kind. I mean, of course, we've got demo on the credits. That's not really usual, but other than that. Yeah, I guess it is just vanilla credits. People knock on Zed's nest, but at least it has a much faster fast forward than that, and it doesn't sound awful. The end. <laughs>